what's going on youtube welcome back to my channel so into this video i will show you guys how to page number your program your jota your magazine anything you want to page number in correct draw so in this video we'll, be, we'll have two phases on um, the manual and the automatic page number so i'm going to show you guys how to do that i've done this video before but a lot of you guys have been commenting comment section asking for how to page number this is the second time i'm putting out this video please guys pay attention on this video like I said, we have the manual and we have the automatic page numbering. So, first of all, I will show you guys the automatic page numbering. And if you want to learn, make sure you watch this video to the very end so you don't miss out on any step in this tutorial. All right. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. So, welcome to Corridor, guys. This is the program of six pages. All right. So, as you can see, we have from page one to page two. And sorry for page one to page six. All right, so one thing you should understand is that if you're designing and you have, let's say you have your front cover, all right, you have your front cover, all right, so let's assume this is your front cover, all right, so assuming this is a front cover, I'm just making an instance for you guys, so let's assume this is our front cover and we'll have the inner pages from page uh from page two to page seven is the inner pages all right so if you want to do this you know the front cover will not have any page numbering so if you come to page two your page numbering will start from page two so to insert automatically come to our uh, layout you will see insert page numbering but before you go to insert page numbering what you want to do is come to page numbering settings all right locate page numbering settings Let's bring this over here. And once you look at page numbering settings, you will see start at number. You can either say start at number two. That is, um, you can start with number two, number three. And uh, on which page do you want to start? As you can see, start on page. If you want it to start on page one, it will start on page one. So as you can see, we have our page one to be uh, the front cover, while the page two, starts with the inner that is where the inner the in the number will start if you understand me clearly so you will put page two from here but if you remove the front cover do not make just start it from the pages you want it to start that is why it's that it's stated here start on page what you understand so it's left for you to decide where you are starting the page number from all right so um the style you want to either you want to use um one to three that's uh numbers or or alphabets you understand so if you do that you can just click on okay all right now you have to go back to your page number or your layouts select insert page number then select on on all pages all right on all pages all right now Click on all pages. As you can see, our page number has um, appeared over here. All right. So as you can see, it has appeared over here. We have our page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, and page six. Now, anything you apply to this one will affect this one. Just for instance, we want to in, um, reduce this, the, uh, the font size. Let's put it to 10. As you can see, it has reduced. Over here too, it has reduced. If you increase, it will increase here. So let's assume we want to change the style, the font style. Let's assume we're taking this one. As you can see, the font have changed. As you can see, it has changed here. So let's assume we're changing the font again to this one. Remember the other font we have, as you can see, the font have changed. All right, guys. So this is for the automatic page numbering. All right. This is how to insert the automatic page number. So if you want to insert the manual, the manual way is basically, this is how I insert page numbering manually. You can just come over to your text tool, click over here and put number one. And once you do that, copy it, come over to page two, place it here, put number two, come over to this, paste it, three, come over to this, paste it, and put number four, over here, put number five. Over here, put number six. And that is it, guys. That's how I insert my 
I want page numbers. Whenever I'm done with my design, if you want to style it, you can just basically come over to this and put any of this, uh, maybe this way. All right, just put anything. If you want to style it, put it any color of your choice. Do you understand? That is how to style them. But if you have a, a big, like a large volume of this thing, but this one, like I said, is manual. You have to do it yourself. You understand? You have to do it yourself. So if you have um, large volume of pages, if you have large number of pages, all right, what you're going to do is insert it automatically. All right, you insert automatic. Use the automatic method that I just showed you guys. But if you have a, a few page number of pages, you can do manual. Anyone that works for you, you understand. So this is how I insert page numbers in current row. So don't forget, guys, drop me a comment if you have any question. Give this video a thumbs up and see you guys in my next video.